Manchester comes back. What do we win? 17, 18 games on the trot. Superb, superb. AFC Bournemouth, the heart of the local sporting community. Nicknamed the Cherries, the club plays in red and black at Dean Court in Kings Park, Boscombe. In 2009, the club went into administration and faced the threat of relegation. A 31-year-old Eddie Howe took over as manager and improved their position in the league table. However, the club suffered when Eddie left to manage Burnley in 2011. Yeah, I mean, we was at a low point and uh, obviously went so long without winning um, and putting a run together and lads were getting a little bit frustrated. Um, but then since when the old manager sort of, uh, when they parted company um, and, and there was rumours of, of Eddie coming back, you know, there was nothing but excitement around the ground and um, I think all the lads sort of thrived off it and that's one of the main t turning points in our season. Eddie's return in 2012 could not have come at a better time for the club. A run of 18 successful matches in the 2012-2013 season meant a fleeting rise to the top of the League One table. This success was put down to Eddie's comeback and the support that followed from the players and fans was outstanding. Everyone was thrilled to have Eddie back, which poses the question, what is behind the Eddie Howe effect? I think you need a good team around you, whether, whether that's an assistant and you have another coach with you, regardless of how many people are in your team. We're a team and we're, we're very tight and I think that's, I think that is a, a big part of it. Not only do you need a team of players, but you need a team of staff that are united together. Bournemouth Football Club has always been close to Eddie's heart. In his early career, he played as a defender for Bournemouth and was considered one of the club's star players. But in 2007, disaster struck when an old knee injury resurfaced that Eddie couldn't recover from his playing career was over. I think you always miss playing because it's the most enjoyable part, but I get a different buzz now. I get a buzz out of watching other people play. So I think I, I did miss it initially, but I think as time goes on, you accept that I can hardly run now, yet alone sprint. So my playing days are well behind me. In just three years, Eddie made the impressive transaction from player to permanent club manager. Yes, sir, let's go. Friend and assistant manager Jason Tindall has been with him every step of the way. Obviously, we've got a good relationship. I think it's important. Uh, you know, we've been working together now for, for quite a few years. Uh, you know, I think it helped that we, we knew each other through our playing days. And that's really followed on and, and carried on into into the management career, but it's, uh, you know, we've got a good relationship, pretty much like a married couple at times, I'd say. Uh, we, we do argue, we, we disagree on things and have, have different opinions, but I think that makes for a, a healthy relationship. After a difficult season for the club, Eddie and Jason showed belief in their players and managed to turn the team morale around in a short space of time. Well, I think the, the first thing we did was just try and unite the players together, try and unite the team, uh, and get everyone fighting for each other, everyone working towards one common goal. That didn't take long, to be honest, because we've got such a good group of players who are very conscientious and want to work hard and want success. I think whenever you've got that, you've got half a chance. And um, we try to make training enjoyable, try and bring fun to the group, but also have a serious work element that the lads know when they're working and know when they're enjoying themselves. Yeah, you're done, Chas. You feel you've done enough. You're done. Any little bits you want to do? We're here to help you. Don't do anything if you feel tired or leggy. Training is vital to the team's game performance and is a chance for Eddie to interact with the players. Well, he, he, he uh, speaks to you a lot. He speaks to the players. He lets you know what's going on. He'll never leave anyone out in the dark. Um, he always tells you straight. He won't muck about. Um, but he does it in a in a good way, whereas in a positive way, where he wants to improve you and help you, so, so, so that's always good. Today, AFC Bournemouth has an important match against Sheffield United. Currently sitting second in the League One table, winning this match would mean they are one step closer to the Championship League. The club's dream.
a disappointing result for the Cherries. The 1-0 loss means the team dropped to number six in the league table and Sheffield replaced them at the top. Is there still time for the Cherries to turn things back around? The loyal fans, also known as Eddie Howe's Barmy Army, still have every faith in Eddie as a manager. He can do the job, that's quite obvious. You know, as soon as he comes back, what do we win? 17, 18 games on the trot without a loss? Superb, superb. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, you know, OK, OK, we've had, had one bad day, but, I mean, what he's done since he's come in at the time has just been tremendous. And Jason, um, they've, uh, they've just given us so much uh, enthusiasm and uh, I think they motivate the team and they've got them playing as a unit. Despite the success he has achieved at such a young age, Eddie remains humble, focusing on one game at a time. I certainly don't think we're going to the Premier League. Um, and the only reason I say that is because I can only think short term. Although I've, everything that we do will plan for the long term, our only goal is the short term, and that's to try and get ourselves in the best possible league position this season. I've been very reluctant to use the words promotion and championship because it's incredibly difficult to achieve, but we will work extremely hard to finish as high as we can in the league. Yeah. I think about the next game, I'm thinking about the next training session, to be honest. Um, you know, and, and my focus is very much on trying to get this club, as I said, to finish as high as we can this year. I know that's pretty boring, but that's how we think. Will the Cherries ever achieve their dream of playing in the championship? And is Eddie Howe the man who will take them there? <laughs>